We're going to be palpating in the fourth layer of the foot, and our muscle is the plantar interossei. So for plantar interossei, they are adductors of the toes. So we're just going to take a minute just to make sure and orient ourselves with which toes do what movements. Uh, in the foot, the second digit is the center. So everything else moves away from that in abduction. So everything else would splay away from the second. And then everything would then obviously adduct towards the second. But for that reason, the big toe has its own, which we've previously palpated in a different video, known as adductor halysis. The second toe does not have an adductor. It has two abductors, so we'll come back to that in a different video, which leaves us with three toes that are capable of adducting towards the center. So we're going to have three muscle bellies and three different insertions. However, all the origins to the insertions are very similar. What I'm going to try to do is feel the shafts of the metatarsals for the second, sorry, for the third, fourth, and fifth. So I'm going to be going in between metatarsal two and three and somewhat hooking my finger all the way down as deep as I can. This is not an easy palp. Like we said, this is in the fourth layer. And then we're going to ask our body here to do his best basically to pinch. So this is what it's going to look like. He's doing his best right now to try and perform that action. It's not an easy one, but he's trying to pinch between his second and his third toe. Good. And then again, pinch. Awesome. And again, just try to pinch. Good. And I'm following it to the proximal phalanx of this third digit and its dorsal digital expansion. We're going to repeat this exact same process. So I'm going to go in between metatarsal number three and four. So it's on the shaft of this fourth metatarsal. Good. And we're just activating that muscle slowly back and forth as we work our way towards the proximal phalanx. And then we'll repeat it on the last one. So I'm on the shaft of the fifth as I'm working my way towards. So again, that minor motion of him trying to adduct this little toe and it inserts again into that proximal phalanx and the dorsal digital expansion. So the main function, as I kind of described, is adduction of toes, in this case, three to five. But because of the dorsal digital expansion, it also helps with flexion at the metatarsal phalangeal joint while extending the interphalangeal joint. So those would be kind of more secondary as it basically squeezes your toes in. But a lot of people are able to squeeze and almost bring their toes into a point, which is therefore helping with that flexion and adduction of those toes. So that's gonna conclude our palpation of the plantar interossei. We're gonna be palpating the dorsal interossei of the foot, so dorsal interossei pedis. We're gonna again just orient ourselves with actions of the toes. The dorsal interossei is more of an AB ductor, so we can abduct our big toe using abductor halysis. I'm gonna cover that one up. And we can abduct our pinky toe with abductor digiti minimi, which is gonna leave us with three toes. Now, if you've already watched plantar interossei, we described which toes can adduct, but I'll just repeat myself here. This second digit, because it's the center of the foot, it's going to be able to abduct in two separate directions. So that means there's going to be an abductor that pulls the toe medially, as well as there's an abductor that pulls this toe laterally. So that's two. We're gonna have one that pulls the third toe towards the fourth, that's three. And finally, we have a fourth belly that's gonna pull this fourth toe over towards your fifth. So there's four dorsal interossei muscles. And it's pretty easy to memorize their origins because it is what we'd call adjacent metatarsals one through five. But basically what you can assume is for this first one, it's originating off the shaft of this first as well as second. So you can get, make it really complicated and say the lateral surface of the first and the medial surface of the second, but I'm just gonna kind of leave that detail out. You can kind of figure that out on your own. So adjacent metatarsals one and two, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my finger in between his big toe and his second digit and ask him to kind of squeeze these two together. So in this type of emotion, go ahead. Okay, so as he's doing that, I'm sinking my fingers in between those two bellies and go ahead and squeeze, good. And you'll feel your fingers slightly getting raised up in this area. Now, not everybody can do this very easily. So again, give a little bit of patience, ask them to squeeze, and sometimes you might ask them just to push their toes into the table and squeeze. So we're following from two origins, and then we're finding the insertion on the base of the proximal phalanx of the second digit and then into the dorsal digital expansion. So you're basically going to repeat the same process for all of the other ones. So this time I'm going in between the second and third metatarsals. There's a little bit less space for me. I'm going to go in between toes two and three. He's going to try to squeeze these two toes together as I am abducting this second toe. So again, go ahead and squeeze for me, good. And again, go ahead and squeeze for me, awesome. So you can feel just a very small amount of raise as this inserts onto this lateral side of this base of the proximal phalanx of the second digit. And again, it's dorsal digital expansion, helping pull it into abduction here. Number three, in between the third and fourth meta, Tarsals. Again, he's gonna squeeze my finger here, trying to move these two together, good, as I'm gonna follow that into the lateral side of this third. And one last time, in between the fourth and the fifth metatarsal and inserting into its proximal phalanx. So again, just a repeat of its actions, it abducts the second toe in two different directions, this way as well as this way, and then it's gonna abduct the third toe and the fourth toe laterally. So that's their main function, abduction at this metatarsal phalangeal joint, but because of the dorsal digital expansion, it also assists a little bit in flexion, so that pushing kind of down motion while holding both the interphalangeal joints straight. And that's gonna conclude our palpation of dorsal interossei pedis.